I'll lay my eggs right here, she said, placing some dry grass on the window ledge. Are you crazy? Look how high this nest will be. How we can walk our little ducks when they are babies. And look, my darling, there's a human just behind that glass. See? That white-haired fellow peering through his spectacles at us. Look in his eyes, say my love. He's not like the others. There's an infinity of kindness in those eyes. I feel quite safe here. I'm not sure why. See? He left a little of his bread again and some silver strands of hair for our neck. to stay because he's always alone. He is always alone. Well, you're the boss, my darling. I will not argue. But ask the others just to make sure that he won't hurt you. Hey friends, what do you know about that wire fellow doing bird and jerky on the marsh? Oh, the wizard, they replied. He's one of us. The wise ones say he's trying to free us all. From the humans, he's the bravest, most courageous of them all. He goes after the bastards, who choke up the air, and blow up the oceans, and launch the warfare, and poison the soil, and make scarce six trees, punch holes in the sky, and Bleach the great wave and fill the whales with plastic dots and strangle sweet turtles. I lock up all the peaks and foam the rivers with chemicals and oil the great lands and make islands of trash and farm all of the humans for a big chunk of cash. For a big chunk of cash. They say the marshy wizard has summoned an hourglass that flashed a light so bright that when he cast it on those wicked ones, everyone could see them in that light. Everyone could see for a terrifying moment what they are. And that's why they locked him up and they threw away the key because he sees what they are doing. He sees what they are doing. They keep him in that cold room away from all the humans because he sees what they are doing. you know this? Oh, the egrets told us. They talked to the pelicans, who talked to the fish, who talked to the dolphins, who talked to the whales. Well, the whales, Doc said. It must be true. Have you tried to tell the other farm humans? And all at once all the beings got excited. Even the trees nodded with enthusiasm and the grass begged to be invited. I did, said the sparrow. I took him by surprise. I did, said a squirrel. I stared her in the eyes. I did, said the butterfly. I did, said the bee. I sidled up to an ear of one and yelled, Let the wizard free! We've all tried, said the turtle, in a voice as ancient as the breeze. Lizards, frogs, snakes and spiders, insects and bees. From sea life and land life, critters large and small. But the wicked ones cast a freezing spell that has them in their thrall. The humans can't see them behind the illusion that they hide. Invisible cages for fear and prison humankind. The wizard's pen is bricks and water on the outside. But the other humans have their own coops that exist solely in their minds. But a spark in the dark lights a room for a moment. And you can see where the monsters lie. The room may go dark again. But you can't unsee them. the humans unfreeze and wake to their crimes the trauma and lies can only prolong inertia and fogginess for only so long when the humans open their cage of beliefs it's when the door opens and the wizard walks free but until then we can try to wake him up and keep the wizard's spirits up 
while the weekend runs wave their nukes and fill the belly of the sea with plastic puke and have us all march to their murderous tune listen to the earth mama sends them to wake us shake us break us and unmake us and take us and show us what the world could be what the world could be little duck returned to his love and said you are safe my darling let's have our babies here and they smiled at the strange man behind the plexiglass and waited for the memories to unstick and for the humans to break free